hey there scorpios and welcome back for another scorpio love reading shout out to all of the beautiful scorpios of the world uh the sun is shining on you beautiful amazing scorpios so let's tap into your energy this is the energy of scorpios let's see what is happening currently for you scorpio what energy are you currently in for Scorpio, what is the energy that Scorpio is currently in on this day? Uh, Spirit, show me for Scorpios. Victory. Awesome. Awesome energy. So you shining, you winning. I say everything is falling in place for you. Eight plus two, ten. Ooh, victory. Look at you, Scorpios. Look at you. You got that victory glow on you, honey. Some of you guys, your financial situation is changing around for the better. It's almost like an overnight success here. I feel like you got victory. Ooh, and somebody thinking about you. Or are you thinking about them? You got the thinking man. You got anxiety. But we pulling one card. That's your energy. So you got something. Let's see what's the energy externally. So you got victory. This is your energy, Scorpios. Victory. Success, things working out in your favor. Uh, yes, you can have it. Uh, yes, uh, yes, and yes, uh, what victory represents. So whatever it is you've been manifesting, uh, yes. All right. All right, Spirit, what's going on for Scorpio's external energy? The person, the people, the situation, the energy uh, for Scorpio's external Scorpio's external. One card. <sighs> Anxiety. So whoever you're dealing with, they worry a lot. I don't know why. I guess they I guess they worry because oh look at these two cards. <laughs> Carnacopia and blossoming abundance. This could be a twin flame. 11-3, um, November the 3rd, who's a Scorpio, your birthday, November the 3rd, maybe something's going to happen November the 3rd, I just see 11, I know it's that 11, but look, this is what you got here, Carnacopia, uh, Blossoming Abundance, and somebody worried about it, but I can feel like this is what's going on in your energy, because your overall energy is victory, isn't that beautiful? See, so let's see. Let's see how these cards play out. You got something beautiful happening for you, but somebody you may be dealing with or your external, somebody is going through something here. Yeah, I just heard you say it. That ain't got nothing to do with me. <laughs> oh, y'all may be, you know, really elevating and doing good and Somebody may try to come around you and have a pity party or somebody may want you to make your success all about them. So somebody is nervous. I feel like that's the nine of swords. She got the 18. One plus eight is nine. Look at them swords behind her. So you know it's in the mind. It could represent you got some feminine that this, this has anxiety about you masculine here. They could they could feel out of touch or they could feel out of out of um, out of their their lane because you're over here winning. For some of y'all, your winning and your victory makes them worried. Ain't that something? Ain't that something? Now, now, now why would that be? You why would your victory worry somebody? Maybe they feel like it's because you you got the door to Carnacopia, and if you got all this victory, maybe they're worried because they feel like they're no longer needed, or you're gonna go on with your life and forget about them. Ooh, but they don't know you, do they, Scorpios? They don't even know you, do they? Because somebody may, cause see, that's the only way I can see somebody has anxiety or worry or stress, and you got victory. Why would they stress out in you with your victory? It's because they are afraid that if you fail, because you remember the next two cards is carnacopia and blossom and abundance. The sun could be shining in your life or about to. See? Is this what worries them? Somebody may feel like since you got all this victory energy, Scorpios, you're not going to have 444. You no longer want them anymore. Ain't that something? I feel like that's what it is, Scorpio. Ooh, they feel like if you, if you, because unless it's a hater, somebody jealous of you, 
Well, then they might as well get to, they ain't seen nothing yet then, huh, Scorpio? Because like I said, you got the sun, you got the carnacopia, and you have um, blossom in abundance here. This victory represents all of that. So like I say, the higher you elevate, the more they can't stand it. But somebody's in their head over your success. That's what's going on, Scorpio. Ooh, see how I broke it down? <laughs> see how spirit broke it down? Eight of cups that you walk away from this person. Let's see, spirit, what's going on for Scorpio? Scorpio has victory. <clears throat> up against you're not up against anything that is like why would someone take your life so personal if it must be that somebody is worried that if you got all this victory and success in your life then why would you want little old them <laughs> you can find you somebody else i mean scorpio can do that anyway but see you just don't know that when scorpio is really into you then they're really into you okay you can be a dork a pork, you could be anything weird. If a Scorpio love you, then you just, everybody, <laughs> have you ever been in a situation where you trying to figure out what do they see in this person? Well, let me tell you about Scorpios, okay? You may not understand what it is that Scorpio sees in that person, but you can best believe Scorpio done dug real, real deep in them and found the best part. Now, they may not ever tell you, but they may not even know that they have that best part in them, uh, but it took you to see it, and you may not ever share, but that's what Scorpio do. They're going to dig in you, in your soul, and find the best part of you, and they're going to fall in love with it. All right? That's how it is. <laughs> Now, you may have not fallen in love with them back because you may not even know you got that in you. <laughs> oh, Scorpio, tell me, tell me in the comment section is that how it is, okay? You be like, dang, I didn't even know I was magnificent. <laughs> They're going to be like, dang, I didn't even know that I was amazing. I didn't even know this. I thought I was just old crusty, but I'm just saying. <laughs> Oh, Scorpio, you're special because Scorpio has that love button that she, that Scorpio can see love in everything. <laughs> but it ain't because you all let on your own because you probably did some scandalous to Scorpios and you have uh, missed out on somebody. Look, they go the devil card. So you have Capricorn, the Ace of Cups, baby. Knight of Pentacles, the Fool, the Hierophant. So look, they go to Nine of Swords and then Anxiety again. Three of Swords, somebody heartbroken. Strength, they go to Tower Cards. So you remember, you got victory and they got uh, anxiety. So you have Capricorn, Taurus, Aries. Ooh, the emperor, prince. <laughs> That's prince, look. Mm. Somebody said that they coming, baby. Ooh, they go to food card. Wait a minute, they go. Now, what is this about? Somebody wasn't being honest. Somebody, somebody may not. I wonder what this is about. The world card. Mm. Anxiety. Why is the anxiety here? Because they want to move on towards you and make it right. The hermit, you could be dealing with the Virgo. Somebody could have this person blocked. This person could be full of anxiety because they feel like you don't want to talk to them. Or they could just they could just be looking at you like you ain't got time. Look, they go down the pinnacle. They say you ain't got time, god dang it. Cause you on your grind. Ooh. They say you ain't got time to give them that type of Scorpio time that they need with their lover's card. Because some of y'all need to heal from this person, and some of y'all is may may be cold towards this person now with the Queen of Swords. But I also saw the Queen of Wands too. Three of Cups, some of y'all going out there and living y'all life. 
That's probably why this person is full of anxiety because maybe you're no longer chasing after them. That'll do it every time, won't it? Y'all probably start chasing after your own sunshine, god dang it. Because like I said, you got the sun, blossom in abundance, carnacopia. See, I would chase after me too. Some of y'all start stop chasing this person. And, and, and as soon as you stop chasing, they went cold. <laughs> Ain't that something? As soon as you stop chasing them and stop caring, they just fell apart because you were the one keeping them together for somebody. So you have the Ace of Cups and the Ten of Cups. Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces here. You have the Devil, the Nine of Pentacles, the Knight of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. You got Taurus, the Hierophant, Aries, Aries, Emperor, the Fool, Gemini, Lovers. This is a lot going on here. I feel like you 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 make your own choices now here, Scorpio. You call your own shots. Now, I feel like they're trying to come to you like somebody here who has it together or, but I don't feel like they do because you got the devil. I feel like they're coming out of it. I feel like somebody wants to, somebody is around you, but they don't want you to know how much you affect them. They're constantly going to lurk around, but they're going to do it in a way where you don't know that they're that they're into you or that they're missing that they're in. It's just something like somebody is, is like a weird it's like It's like they're going to stay they're going to stay hidden because it's safer. They're going to stay hidden, but but meanwhile, they're going to watch you. They're going to do all those things, fantasize about you, uh could possibly do some stuff like pass by your house. I feel like they're doing a lot of those things, but they, they're going to play it safe. <clears throat> or somebody has played it safe. And it could be that somebody has played it safe so much that now y'all don't care. Y'all done moved on. And y'all like, you know, I don't even want you now. Nope, 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 nope. Don't come over here and say nothing. I done changed my mind now. I don't want you. I don't know what you got going on, but just please stay away. I'm done. I'm done waiting. I don't care. It could represent that you have options right now, Scorpios, on who you want to be with. So let's see. I know I talk. That's part of it. Because as I'm talking, I can see something. <clears throat> right. So let's see. The devil in the reverse for Scorpio. What's up with this devil? So see, you know that's past energy anyway. See, I told you. That's all they're going to do is watch you. See? Page of Swords. But they may not be making a move. Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. Oof. Like I said, they just going to be looking at you like, dang, I wish I could do this. They'll fantasize about you. They'll do all those things. I feel like they feel like it's safer in their mind. See? Strength in the reverse. Yeah, but they just go. I feel like somebody does see. Seven of Swords. This person going to secretly watch you and obsess over you. But I feel like they're too afraid to make a move because it's easier to get what they want in their mind and in their fantasy than to actually take the steps and then something don't work out right. Somebody don't want to take that chance. I don't feel like. But something could be about to change here. So what's up with this emperor for Scorpios? Now, who is this emperor? I don't feel like it's you. It could represent you masculines uh, taking control. It could represent you, Scorpio, taking, uh, you know, really going after what you desire. Uh, especially if you got options here. You do have the Ten of Cups. Ooh, but they go to Four of Cups. See, somebody missed out. I knew it. Why would the emperor be in the four of cups unless they feel like they, I don't feel like they rejected you. I feel like they feel rejected, but that, they don't even make, they don't add up unless you don't want them because <clears throat> the emperor's supposed to get, you know, the emperor got it going on. Now they could have rejected love. Ooh, snap. That just jumped out my hand. Look at that. See there? Now this is between you and your oh it just got it just got real. <laughs> I thought this person was about to be a joke, but I see now. I see it. Now I see. Cause I was trying to figure out what's his problem. God dang it. But it don't matter to every problem, there is a solution. So look at here, look at here. 
So who is this? That's your energy, but I'm saying. Now you got the emperor and the empress. So what's up? Both of y'all missing each other. Is this what's going on? Or this person fears that you're going to reject them because you are the freaking empress. Especially if this is someone from your past and they did you wrong. Of course, you look at them like, look here, I ain't got to settle for you like I did in the past. I need to learn love. I need to love myself first. And now I really love me. <laughs> y'all. Oh, we got the emperor, the four cups, and the empress that go to food card. Somebody say, I want to go for, ooh, look. Because look, the next card next to this is the uh, hierophant. But look, you got the fool and the hierophant here too. I feel like somebody said that they're going to take a leap of faith. Somebody say that, you know, if it, somebody say if it would have been anybody else, they wouldn't do such a thing. They say, God dang it, if it would have been, but anybody else, then they wouldn't get a God dang thing. But because it is uh, Scorpios, then I feel like somebody has softened up. <laughs> I feel like somebody say, God dang, little man, I'm weak. I feel like somebody is weak for you, Scorpio. They just downright weak for you with the devil and the page of swords. Okay. So it's almost like they know that they didn't did something wrong, but somebody really wants to make it right. But because they're going to think about you, like I said, whatever, whatever fear or insecure or, or, or this is a big step for them. They're going to do it for you, though. If they're not used to settling down for some Scorpio, they're going to do it for you. See, Scorpio, see, don't you deserve it? So you could be dealing with the Aries, a Libra, a Hierophant. Uh, uh, I mean, Taurus, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, you got Leo, you got Capricorn. Wow, Scorpios, what you won't do, do for love. You tried everything, but you don't give up. <laughs> Andre, Andre Caldwell. Somebody say, in my world, only you. Made me do for love what I would not do. That's right, Scorpio, gonna make you do for love what you would not do. <laughs> made you do for love what you would not do. Now I ain't got the higher fit. This person coming in, I feel like this person gonna reach out and talk to you, whoever this person is. So now I'll watch the lovers here for Scorpios. Clarify the lovers. So you have Taurus, you have Aries, you have Leo, you have um, Libra, you have Aries, you have Capricorn, you have Scorpios, you have Gemini. I mean, you pretty much got it all. Look at that. The Hierophant and the Sun card. You got illumination, happiness. Uh, someone has had a spiritual awakening here. Um, someone sees someone sees the future. Someone spirit is showing somebody that the future is very, very, uh, could be very, very abundant. You guys could really sow the right seeds and something could definitely grow between the two of you here. <clears throat> That's what spirit is showing them. See, they go to eight of pentacles now with the chariot. See there? Wow, something can definitely grow in this union because it is definitely a union with the emperor and the empress and the um, hierophant. And now you got these opportunities. You got the ace of cups. I feel like y'all finna fall in love all over again if it's somebody from your past. And if it's somebody new, you're just dealing with a boss that, that's, that's not used to a woman uh, breaking him down to break him up. <laughs> Snap. Hold on. Wait a minute. They're not used to being broke down in order to be broke back up. Okay. To build back up. Somebody's not used to giving over control to a feminine because they feel like the woman can't tell them nothing. They call their own shots. Who are you just to find out that there is some type of balance that their feminine brings their way that they need that in their life. OK, I said they needs it in their life. Y'all hold on. <laughs> yeah, I'm sitting here tripping off of me, y'all. <laughs> it could be a cancer. It could be a Leo. A Taurus, but these got pinnacles, pinnacles here. See the way they did in the past, or maybe this is somebody here. 
It could be somebody here that does not plan for the future when it comes to relationships. They just take it day by day. They don't, you know, they don't, they don't, they don't plan for the future. They don't see a future because that's not what they were really looking for. Maybe someone didn't think that something could really go the distance with you. But anyway, you remember you have victory while they have anxiety, okay? So it seems like the reason why they have anxiety is because they have been self-sabotaging your connection with them. If they've had many opportunities between the two of you, but did they take them? No, they, they ran out on them. See there? See there? I feel like somebody, you know, because usually we're used to being afraid uh, because we're afraid of failing but there is a such thing as being afraid of actually prevailing. Okay, hashtag prevailing, not, uh, 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 wait a minute, failing. All right, yeah, I said it first, so somebody's going to say it. But isn't that something we're so used to failing that we think that we can't prevail, but that's what it is. You may be thinking that, I feel like this person, you whoever this person is you're dealing with, They know that this is an undeniable connection with the emperor. But see, this person may, may not believe it. They may not believe it, though. They worry for nothing. But look how intense this is. You know it's intense because look, why would they be feeling this way? Some of y'all ready. But I feel like this person is saying if they do this, it can't be just for anybody. It has to be with somebody real. Okay. It's almost like somebody saying, well, I might as well do it with you then. If I'm if, I, if I'm going to settle down and stuff, if I'm going to be in something. Ooh, Scorpio C. And then you have the Hierophant. Some type of relationship, some type of partnership. Man, I was so surprised to see that Empress come right on out. But that's, 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 that's about right. That's about right. Then you have the Chariot uh, over here by the Hierophant and the Sun card. Some of y'all dealing with the cancer because you do have, <clears throat> you have the devil, the ace of pentacles, the knight of pentacles, the hierophant, the hierophant, the eight of pentacles, the seven of pentacles, the nine of pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. You have the page of swords. The Seven of Swords, the Empress, the Lovers, Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius, the Queen of Swords underneath the bottom. You have the Ace of Cups, the Four of Cups, the Chariots, the Ten of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. And Fire, did I see Fire? You have the Emperor. The Fool, the Sun, Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries. I yep, 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 yep. Now, why is the lovers here for Scorpio's clarify the lovers? Maybe this person couldn't make up their mind. It's got to be it <clears throat> because it seemed like y'all idea of connection. At least that's what I see. But with the lovers card, it could represent somebody needing to make up their mind with another situation, child. You know how it is, but... You remember, you got victory, Scorpios, and they got anxiety. They may have anxiety because you're having victory without them. Ooh, that moon card came out. Is somebody hiding something or somebody afraid? It could be that they that you 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 could have got them scared. I don't feel like you got them anything. Is it the emperor? Because you got the emperor with the four cups and the emperor. I feel like they're scared. I feel like somebody's scared you're gonna turn them down. They scared that you're going to turn them down, Scorpios. Are you? I don't see. But look, they go to Nine of Cups. Somebody hiding something. Look, they go to King of Swords in the reverse. Whew, what's up with the lovers for Scorpios? You got Gemini and Pisces. Cancel Scorpio and Pisces. Six of Swords. Moving on. Somebody is not able to move on from this connection. <clears throat> They're not able to let this go. 
That's why they're in anxiety because they're not able to move on away from you. <sighs> Ain't that something? But you know, you know, Scorpio, when Scorpio move on, Scorpio usually does uh, elevate because now they're going to put that same tension and that same energy into their project like they was trying to put into their person. And if their person rejects them after Scorpio, get over it, get, get over the initial shock. <laughs> Please believe Scorpio going to come out swinging. OK, and it's a spiritual swing. Can't keep a Scorpio down. You just can't. And look, they already know because they'll go to six of cups in the reverse. I told you they couldn't move on from you got the six, six in the reverse. See? Six of swords, six of cups. That's them. But they're not telling you it. That's they they could just they just gonna watch you. <clears throat> Yeah, they just gonna watch you, Scorpios. You could be dealing with a weirdo. <laughs> oh, somebody steady passing by your house with tinted windows and stuff. Slowing down, trying to catch you, taking your trash out, trying to see you getting your mail, trying to see you getting in and out your car, going in and outside. Your house. Let me hear what time is it, y'all? Oof, I just see so much stuff. All right, Ace of Cups, because this is a lot of stuff going on. Why is the Ace of Cups? You got some beautiful energy here. So something definitely is happening. I just feel like someone can't do it their way. They go to Six of Pentacles. Now you've got the Six of Pentacles. You got the Six of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles. Like I said, there's an opportunity to, um, to work together in order to grow something. Because somebody may be looking at you like you grow things. Like, like you guys together can really create some magic here. Somebody's coming in to be generous to, ooh, they'll be a generous Scorpio. They go to the emperor again. See there? See? See? Somebody said they would love to, to uh, enjoy this overflow of lo love. They said they'll take care of everything else. <laughs> they said all they need is just the love. They said, hey, look. Ooh, Scorpio, that's what they say. They say, if you give me all the love, I get, ooh, they say, if you give me what I need, I give you what you want. Ooh, Scorpio. <laughs> they say, at this point, it is a need, okay? <laughs> See, they go to star card, Aquarius energy. The Ace of Cups, somebody, is a, new, a new beginning here, a new opportunity, starting completely over. For some of you guys, you're going to have a new relationship. And for others, you may reconnect from someone from your past. It could be an Aries. Could, look, they go to Seven of Cups. Somebody's coming out of the illusions and uh, whatever stood in your way, even if it was other people that they were dealing with, somebody realizes that you're the one that ticks their freaking talk, god dang it. They may have been around the world to find, find, find another Scorpio, but they didn't find you. So they got to come back. <laughs> They went around the world trying to find you, baby, but they they was not successful, okay? Uh, so they're coming back. <laughs> yeah, Knight of Pentacles is slowly making their way in because they had to tuck their tail between their legs and they got the flag of defeat. <laughs> they got the flag of reconciliation. They got the flag of, here, I'm coming back home. <laughs> I tried it out there in the world without you, but it didn't work. Ace of Swords, see? Somebody had to realize that everything that they were looking for, they already had it. They already had it with you. Ain't that something? You know they're not too wise. Ooh, see that? Told you. See that? There it is again. The lover. See, Gemini. See? Spirit says this person didn't believe that fat meat was greasy. <laughs> oh, snap. Spirit said it. God dang it. Oh, snap. My son or my daughter don't believe that fat meat is greasy. <laughs> I'm about to show you. They didn't believe fat meat was greasy, Scorpio. Yeah. <laughs> but they had to find out that there is only and only and only but one Scorpios. OK, yeah, that's why they coming back. See, it's part of their karma. But they realize and you're their destiny. Somebody said, God, I keep on walking around in circle. Every time when I think I'm leaving, Scorpio, I end up walking right back. See there? They coming back to you. It's, it's all roads lead to you once again. You're for some of y'all. Wow. Wow. 
This person going to always come back to you, Scorpio. They're going to or they're never really going to leave. You will leave them before they leave you. Now, it may not be the type of situation you want, but they're not leaving you. Why? It's one of those type of people who once they get attached to you, even if it ain't, you know, as long as they get out of it what they want, they are right. But you may not get out of it what you want unless they make some changes. All right, the fool. Why is the fool here for Scorpios? Perfect, the fool. Three of Wands. Waiting on your ships to come in, looking ahead, uh, planning, uh, seeing a future with you, obviously, because you got all these pentacles, god dang it. And you got the Ten of Cups twice. Oh, yeah, somebody wants this Two of Pentacles here. I feel like this person here that is, going, is talking themselves into moving forward towards you. Now, it could also represent uh, every, each party trying to hold it together, see? Ooh, wow. Each party trying to hold it together. But while y'all in the separation, it is affecting you. See? Two of Pentacles, Two of Cups. And the reason why I say that is because right here, it's like this is what's going on between both of y'all. You got the four cups between the emperor and the empress. So it's almost like both of y'all trying to stand in y'all power and do y'all own thing. But I feel like both of y'all are trying to put this in the back of y'all head. But I feel like the universe keeps on bringing it back up. See, like y'all forgetting something. You forgetting something. It's like you're, you're trying not to make it a priority, but it's there. It's always there. It's always going to be there. And when they feel like, you know, and, and, and if you're in past life relationship, you always come back together because until you learn your lessons with each other or make amends. So now you got the nine of Pentacles and the ten of cups. I do feel like most of you Scorpios are single. You are dating other people. See, I feel like things because remember, you got victory. Let's not forget you got victory while you see because some of y'all ain't in y'all feelings over this person, Scorpio. Y'all like if that. <laughs> I'm just tired of being hurt, God damn it. <laughs> See there? See that? Some of y'all ain't caring about that right now. You're like, yeah, yeah, I know we so many. Uh-huh, I know. Yeah, 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 I know. See there? Nine of Pentacles, the Queen of Wands, Six of Wands. I feel like you're doing your own thing. And as soon as see, you're doing your own thing, and when you're not caring about them, that's when they're going to care about you. That's usually how it is. For some of y'all, y'all not going to get serious about anybody until they come in with some real offers to y'all looking for wife material, husband material type of energy. <laughs> it's almost like you saying, look, I'm a grown woman. I'm a grown man. I ain't got time for those games. If you ain't looking to build something, then I don't need you coming in my space. Respectfully, sir and ma'am. Nine of Pentacles, because for some of y'all, you doing all right by yourself. Ooh, but they go a king of pentacles. Like I just seen a queen of pentacles. See, somebody's finna change that. Because for some of y'all, y'all so fed up with all of this toxic behavior you're getting from these relationships that you done turned kind of cold to them. But spirits say it's time for you to heal. Get your energy right. There go the star card. See? Spirit says it's time for y'all to get y'all life back together. Stop being mad. Get get Let go of that bitter. Let go of that uh, confrontational uh, uh, it's not loving. This type of energy is going to get you reconciliated right here. God dang it. It ain't even so much that queen of cups as it is that queen of ones. With the three of cups too, man. Just think y'all get out there. Y'all get the, you know, come on now. Y'all get out there and y'all get to having fun. Y'all be the made up with somebody or found somebody new in no time. So some of y'all making it hard for this person, <laughs> okay? Because some of y'all, you got victory, you out here popping and you looking good and they, they about to go crazy because they feeling this way alone because you're like, boy, I gave you time. You didn't, you didn't kid in. So leave me alone now. I'm living my life. Ten of Cups, what's up with the Ten of Cups? See? I feel like your your victory stresses them out or your... your, your uh, you're level up, leveling up, but it's almost like y'all on the same level. It's almost like you got two bosses here, but two bosses don't have to compromise. And two bosses, uh, two, let, let's just say two leaders. 
You got two leaders here, but neither one feel like they have to compromise. I understand you'll stand, though, Scorpio. I feel like this person may have not put much effort in this connection in the past. And so for some of you guys, you've had to uh, move forward and put yourself first. So as a result, you're elevating in all areas of your life. And as soon as you start elevating in your life, they're going to want to come back because somebody may have thought that they had other people that they were dating, that everybody was the same. And it's almost like somebody was a king on their throne and they can pick who they want to pick. But really what spirit is showing them that is that it never was a comparison to begin with. They were the ones that had the wrong perception. OK, they had it all effed up is what spirit is showing them because they had the best the whole freaking time. All right, let's not get it twisted now. See, and that, that same energy is the soulmate here. But for some of y'all, y'all, y'all may not be interested. <clears throat> you got this ten of cups here. All right, ten of cups. Why is the ten of cups here? I feel like you have an opportunity to get your relationship, Scorpio, because you already got it here. You got the Ten of Cups with the Wheel of Fortune. See, they go to Four of Wands. For some of y'all, your relationship is going to get serious. Serious like you're going to actually live under the same roof or y'all sharing keys, sharing information, sharing residency, sharing bills. Ooh, we child. Didn't I just say that? There it is, the Ten of Pentacles. See? Now it could represent look, mm, some of y'all, some of y'all gonna be very, very wealthy. That's why you have victory. But I feel like spirit is saying everything you've always wanted, you're about to get it. Look, and they go a king of pentacle. Look. So y'all dealing with an emperor, but this person feels like it's look, they wanna be with you. See? See that they don't want to play no games no more. Cause somebody realized that there's a strong future that you guys could have if they stop playing or if they get their shit right. Because you're dealing with an emperor or they see themselves like that. But I tell you what, they definitely see you as their empress, Scorpios. Hi, right, Scorpio. This is your love ring. This was intense. Oh, my gosh. Remember, Scorpio, this is your current energy, which is victory. Then you have the sun, the carnicopia and the blossoming abundance here. And your person here. <laughs> They got um, anxiety. Let me see what was the, the next cards underneath. Okay. And underneath the anxiety, you got the garden and the gate, attachment, goddess of the moon, and the thinking man. See there? The thinking man. This is what your person on, because this was your external. So, yeah, they're thinking, but they got attachments here. I feel like they, like I said, they play it safe. It's your person plays it safe too much because they overthink things. And like I said, for some of you guys, your success and your victory, your elevation is what's going to make them full of, full of worry because they're going to look at, they're going to start looking at you like you're going to move on from them. Whatever issues they used to have, if they don't make peace or, or resolve it, they're going to miss out. Cause with all this energy, you can look, you can go in the lab and create about 50 of them. You can fly one of them from anywhere in the world with all this energy. I'm just saying X who. I'm just saying don't get it twisted now. <laughs> so if they do want you, they better make haste is what spirit is saying, Scorpios. Because it seems like you're going to get your happiness one way or the other. With or without them, Scorpio will be happy. All right, Scorpio, this is your reading. Please like, share, and subscribe.